Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit more torturing on our XJS. We're going to give it quad headlamps. These lamps, which are available for pre-facelift and facelift cars, uh, fairly straightforward to fit, bit of a Marmite product. Some people really love them, some people aren't so sure, some people like the original Euro lamps. Personally, I'm a big fan of them. One thing you can guarantee, you'll get much better performance out of these than the original Euro lamps, particularly with the Euro lamps, if they've started to go off, if they've started to go yellow inside, these will be a big upgrade. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take the, the bonnet grill off, just to give us a little bit of clearance to, uh, to help us get the whole thing to pieces. So I'm going to open the bonnet first, get rid of this, and then we'll start doing a full strip. You don't actually need to do this on the ramp, but it does help. When you're as old as I am and you have knees, uh, this is uh, so much better. I would just mention that I've given everything a little bit of a soak in uh, release oil a couple of days ago. Uh, these things, if they've not been off recently, they can be a little bit tight. So always a good move, give everything a good soaking before you start. That's the grill out of the way. To remove the chrome surround, there are a couple of screws, one hiding under the bonnet and one at the front. That's the chrome surround removed. Next thing we need to do is to get the lens out. These European lenses are held in by plastic clips, which uh, if you've got uh, fingers like Nosferatu, you can get to quite easily, but you can pry them off with a screwdriver. Just remove the electrical collections, and that's the lamp out. This is actually not a bad one, but they do suffer from, uh, quite often the silvering inside will go yellow, and you do lose the effectiveness of the, the lens. Now the lamp unit itself is removed. Uh, we just need to get rid of these uh, adjusters. We don't need those because they're all part of the replacement twin headlamp unit. I always keep a magnet on a stick handy because you can guarantee that at least one of the screws will disappear to somewhere where you can't get your fingers. Hooray. So that's everything we need to take off, so now we're going to do the build-up. These twin headlamp units come completely assembled uh, and wired, so I can just connect that straight through to the original harness. I'm just going to make the uh, wiring connection with these single bullet connectors. Well that's the wiring done. So, <laughs> okay, so we're we ready to mount this. I've put two screws already on the back plate, so that will just slot in, uh, and it'll give us, a, give us a leg up when we come to, to align it. These are quite difficult to get to, so you do need a long Phillips screwdriver to get to them. There's plenty of space behind the lamp for all the cabling, so you can just throw it in. Okay, so that's in. Okay, so that's basically in the hole. I'm now going to put the screws back in it to hold it in place. I fitted the four mounting screws to give me just a little bit of wiggle so I can adjust it to suit the chrome finisher. So I'm happy that's all in alignment so I can take the chrome finisher away and tighten the screws. Okay, that's now tight, so just for the final flourish, we'll throw the chrome on.
just a matter of putting the grill back on the bonnet and away you go. The lots of uh, uh, traditionalists prefer the uh, the ovoid European lamps, but um, they were both designed at the same time. It's just that the uh, the oval ones were they were a bit on the limit as far as uh, uh, sort of federal regulations went. So most, if not all, exports to the USA had the quad lamps, had these twin system. So that's one side fitted. Obviously I've got to do the other side as well now. Once they're both in, next thing I need to do is to set them up so that the beams actually point in the right direction when you're on the road. The easiest way to do that is to take it to a local MOT station and let them set it up on their beam tester. So thanks for watching. Don't forget we'll be giving this car away at the NEC Classic Motor Show, which is coming up soon.